Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about dynamic bifins training and more specifically we're going to talk about one breath table. And for those of you who are first time here, who never seen me before, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer at Crystal Freediving uh, on the tropical island Katao in Thailand. If you are a beginner or intermediate freediver, consider the idea to subscribe to this channel because you're going to find a lot of useful information. And if you've already done it, Thank you very much. Okay, come back to the topic. Dynamic uh, by fins, one breath table. So, so if you are like me, who are really like dynamic by fins training, then I think this is going to be uh, interesting training for you. So what is the idea? At least like how I do this type of training. Let's say our pool is uh, 20 meters. This is our pool. And the idea is pretty simple. You swim one distance, you come up, you do breathe out, breathe in, and swim 20 meters again. You come up, one breathe out, one breathe in, swim 20 meters again. For the next uh, few seconds, you're gonna see how I do it, and then we come back to the discussion. underwater quite slowly uh, working on my technique then I come up here slow exhale slow inhale and then I do it again how many repetitions I do uh, I haven't done this type of training for a while this is why I started on my last training from really small number so on the last one it was uh, 10 reps so I done it 10 times then I have a break for about 5 minutes and then I repeat it 10 times again. Again, this is, was pretty easy training, I just did it at the end of my main training. Um, yeah, it was pretty easy. What the goal, the goal is over the next uh, few training, bring this number to 20 reps and do it 3 times, right? So once again, uh, 20 times I'm gonna swim uh, 20 meters and the rest between this repetition is going to be just one breath in, breath out. What you can do to adjust this kind of training? Uh, if, for example, you have a 25 meter pool and you try to swim one time and then even on the second one you feel like completely tired and exhausted, right? And you're out of breath immediately. So then, then there is no problem, you can do maybe not one breath in between, you can do a couple. So for example, you swim, you swim your 20, 25 meter pool, you come up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale again and start swimming again. What if even this training is going to be hard for you? Then try to do three times, uh, like three breath in, breath out or four. Maybe also start not with the 10 repetitions, maybe start from 5 repetitions. But what is the main goal of this type of training? This type of training help you to get uh, high on the CO2 level because the recovery is going to be small in between to remove all the extra CO2 from your body. 
but you're gonna still be able to take some oxygen in this one or two uh, breath in between this is why you're not gonna be extremely hypoxic right so the level of oxygen obviously going down a little bit uh, and again maybe if it's going to be 20 repetitions not going to be a little bit maybe it's going to be significantly but the training mainly is going to be not really hypoxic it's mainly going to be uh, hypercapnia training when the level of oxygen is going to be a little bit lower than normal um, again maybe like quite below the normal but the main idea that the CO2 level is going to be way above the normal. Uh, I don't do this type of training really often because it's kind of stressful way of training. Uh, my plan to do it once per week at the moment when I do like a 10 repetitions, 12 repetitions and then uh, for the like till the end of the month the plan to do it like once per week uh, or maybe once per two weeks, right? So I don't want to uh, put that much stress. Again, in my case, I haven't done it for a while. I don't know how my body is going to react at this moment. So this is why maybe even 20 repetitions is going to be not that difficult because before it was, before it was really difficult, especially at the end of these 20 repetitions. But now I don't know. I will let you know maybe later if I'm uh, not going to forget uh, how I feel about 20 repetitions. Um, and maybe I'm gonna uh, adjust it somehow okay so guys if you haven't done it try again for the first time I do recommend if you do any exercises any freediving exercises for the first time ever I do recommend to do it like easy right so for example again if your pool is uh, uh, 25 meters then this is going to be like harder and especially if you're a beginner or intermediate freediver it's definitely going to be harder so then again, start with the small goals, maybe to do it uh, five times. So maybe to do it five times and maybe do like a three breath in, breath out in between. So you swim one time, you come up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale again fully, the nice big breath in and then swim 25 meters again and try to do 25 uh, try, try to do five times this exercise mean to be difficult right they don't be surprised don't be surprised like oh i have a contraction so this is the whole idea to have a lot of contractions on this exercise when i do a lot of repetitions uh, my contraction starts like not almost immediately but maybe after just like 10 meters and you have a contraction so uh, sometimes the whole uh, like cycle it's just a, like a lot of contractions again like I haven't done it for a while now it's probably going to be a little bit more easy but in the beginning it was pretty stressful so this is why take it easy in the beginning right take everything easy don't forget if you're training in the water of course you need to have your training body with you closely supervised because even if this table is a hypercapnia table like high CO2 table there is still going to be a low oxygen level so this is why uh, be careful, uh, have a safety body and don't push your limits too much. Again, it should be difficult, but if it's going to be extremely difficult, feel free to stop and finish exercise early than you're planning. Don't push uh, your limits too much. Uh, this is not a good philosophy for the beginner or intermediate freediver who I believe uh, you are at this moment. Maybe not. Correct me in the comments. So guys, let me know in the comments if you've done it before. Please write me down. I really want to feedback from you if you ever tried. Or if you're gonna do it in the near future, please also write down in the comments uh, how do you like it and what exactly uh, you did. Uh, how many repetitions, what the length was. Please share, me, uh, share with me your feedback about this particular exercise. Okay guys, this is it. Uh, thank you for watching my video. I hope it was a video. I hope this video was useful for you. And if it was useful, don't forget to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now. And I will see you as always next time.